When we're talking about Wasm, we can see both server side and browser based. So when Wasm first came out, you definitely saw more browser based stuff and that was 2017. But I believe since 2019, that's when they've been doing the whole WASI thing, which is the interface. And that interface allows you to do some server side pieces. Those server side pieces allow you to have IO. When I say IO, I'm talking about the ability to connect to networks, the ability to connect to local storage, for example. So that's really where the server side piece and the WASI piece comes in. Now, we're typically going to see this on, you know, maybe in Kubernetes or maybe in, you know, Docker engine or on a VM or something, maybe even serverless, wherever it's running. But you can also test your WASM apps locally. And that's what we're going to see in this video. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna need is our application. And if we take a look here, this is just a simple Go app using the package main because it's gonna be the entry point, importing the format library. We have our main function here. So if we're thinking about it from like a functional perspective, I'm just calling upon the child function. And the child function literally just says, hello from the wasm beyond. All right, so if I just do go run main.go, we can see that's the output. It's just printing to the terminal. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of environment variables, go OS and go arc or architecture. All right. So we're pretty much telling go, we're going to use wasm and using wasi as the interface. Okay. And then you do a go build and then the output is going to be main.wasm and that's going to be based off of this main.go. Right. So if we take a look here, that's the file that's in our current directory. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, now if we take a look, notice how we have this main.wasm binary. We can go ahead, we can see it right here, okay? So now all we have to do is just run wasm time main.wasm and boom, we have our output. Now, if you don't have Wasm Time installed or if you're not sure what it is, it's pretty much the, I would say, most popular Wasm runtime right now. And if you just Google Wasm Time, you'll see the installation. And that's how we can test server side on our local machines for any Wasm configuration. Now, you're going to see a lot of tutorials and, and examples and such in Rust and JavaScript. Uh, and I like writing in Go, so figured do it in Go.